Hello, I'm Emily Lum. I'm a hairdressing lecturer at Worcester College of Technology, and this is my model, Michaela. Now, what she wants is going to be a child's cut, and it's going to be a one length cut, and we're going to take approximately two inches off the bottom. When you're doing a child's haircut, it's important that you get your child sitting at the right height. So Michaela is sitting up on a nice cushion block so that I don't damage my back leaning over too much. Let me turn you around. To start Michaela's hair, I'm going to do a hot cross bun sectioning. So we come straight down the centre of the head. Can you pop your head forward for me? That's it. Straight down to the nape. And then you're going from the top of the head to the back of the ear. Okay, same on the other side. Right, I'm going to start at the back and allow Put your head forward for me. Thank you. About a centimetre of hair down into the middle. A lot of hair to hold in these clips. Okay, I'm going to take my first section then. If you can keep your head forward for me and your chin down, that's lovely. Right in the centre, and it's important that you hold the hair as flat to the gown as you can. Bring your fingers down and take your first hair cutting. The next piece, you use a section of hair that you've already cut. Use your second section of hair where you've got the first piece as your guide and cut it to the same length. And the same again on the other side. Use a little bit of hair that I've already cut. And the section comes straight down and straight across. I just need to check that, so I'm gonna hold the two end pieces, bring them into the center and check that they're the same length. Okay, next section, another centimetre of hair. Now, Michaela's very good because she's a little bit older, but if you have a child who's three, four or five, sometimes you have to work very, very quickly. Quite often you'll end up doing the haircut on dry hair. When you're doing a one length cut, it's really important that your hand is level. Quite often when you start off, this part, you lift your wrist and you, what you actually do is create a curl, which is okay if that's what you require, but usually, especially with children, a one length cut should be dead straight. So bring your section down and just make sure you're dropping your wrist so you get a nice straight line. And on the other side of the head, what tend, can tend to happen is your fingers go up towards the ear. So you start tilting it the other way. So again, be aware of this. And when you come round towards the side, just bring your fingers down to make sure the line is exactly straight. When doing a child's cut, they do move their head a lot more than adults. So each time it's important that you do just re align their head to where you want it so that the angles are correct and the lengths are the right length. Every time I take a section and I cut it, I always make sure my hand is touching my client's back. A lot of the time you'll see people holding their layers out like this and if you do that, 
you'll end up with graduation going up the hair, so it won't be a true one length cut. Your hand has to be firmly against your client's back before you take the cutting. So when I come here now at the top, what I need to do is comb this hair in the direction that it will fall. So I'm going to bring it down here as opposed to combing it back with my last pieces because if I do that then the hair will gradually get longer as it goes round towards the face. <laughs>